Well, George is fresh washing the cab. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Got the engine pressure washed best we can. All loose paint off. Getting ready to pull the head. Well, there she is. Pressure washer she's going to get for now. I didn't do that half. Just this half. It's amazing how much brighter it is. I mean, it's not a hot pressure washer. Burrito. All right, George. Thank you. Got the uh, motor pretty much pressure washed. And they're still, you know, it's a cold pressure washer, it's not a hot press, so it's still quite a bit of oil, but I mean, it's amazing the amount of just, you know, quarter inch, well, here, I grab that chunk, I can't fell, but I mean, thick, you know, grease that was that thick, like the alternator was black, I thought it was actually painted black, <laughs> it ain't. So, got the back pressure washed here, that was almost entirely black you see there it was almost black all the way from that exhaust and this side see the green it's pretty exciting so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that radiator it's so full of oil I mean I the pressure washer just pushed the fins down so I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with that maybe take it to a radiator shop and have them see if they can steam clean it Got the cab up there, pressure washed. And the outriggers, just to get the mud off. So, definitely made a mess out here. It's standing water. But, one step closer and I'll let it dry and start pulling everything off to uh, get to the head. Well, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but maybe a bunch of spider web cracks in here everywhere. And all the way down the weld here, here. I'm sure there's a lot more. I don't, I'm sure it's because they welded these on. Why they weld them on, I have no idea. But. I mean, that one starts right there at the end of the weld, so I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they would think that that's okay. So it looks like I'll, when I get to that point, I'll take it to a fab shop or something and see if they can grind it out and weld it up. If not, maybe I'll just do it if I get my hands on a nice DC stick welder with some 7018, I guess. So, doggone it. Draining the coolant out of this old girl. See my funky contraption. That's how I decided to do it instead of getting everything on the ground. So I just pulled the exhaust manifold off this 453. And this cylinder here, number two, had diesel just fall out of it. But if you look here in number, you can't see, can you? If you look there, that's a, let's see if I can get a screwdriver in there. Broke off exhaust valve, put my screwdriver right underneath of it. See these other ones, it comes all the way down. So I'm not exactly sure why this one had fuel pour out of it and this one is the one that dropped a valve. But uh, that, that's definitely interesting. Surprising it runs. So I don't know if this one just got a bad injector and this is the one that's got the dropped valve, but we'll see.